Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome back to our Altered Art Spotlight series brought to you in part by Manalik.com and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. A link's in the description. Please, for the love of Ravnica, go like the Facebook page. You get to see pretty stuff. There's really no downside. Anyways, in this episode, we're about to look at a beautiful foil from Urza's saga, a guru dual land, the real mother of dragons, and more. Hope you enjoy it, and if you do, remember to hit that like button. It helps to support the series and make me smile. Our first two pieces of the day come from Scourge Altars. We'll begin with this altered foil Yagmus Will. Holy crap, on a stick, this is gorgeous. The extension of the original art itself is flawless. What really makes it amazing, the originality in the extension to the bottom of the card. A true masterpiece and very clearly one of a kind. I didn't think this could look more menacing slash awesome. I was wrong. Scourge knocked it out of the park with this. If that wasn't enough for you, this guru style underground sea had me drop in my jaw. I can't praise the night sky and water enough. The reflection off the moon onto the top of the water, the ripples, the eclipse about to happen. Everything about this is great. One of those pieces that stops looking like a magic card and becomes a work of art unto itself. Kudos to Scourge for these pieces. Just truly wonderful. Our next featured artist today is C.S. Alter, is a repeat visitor on the show. I love seeing a good Edric Alter, and this one did not disappoint. The extension is well done, and as colorful as it can be. My favorite part is what C.S. did with the text box. That's just cool. Not only is it altered to look like a roll of paper, major 3D props there, but it's also made to look almost dirty. Like it's just a scrap of parchment used to take notes, worn from repeated use. Big fan of the style here, I really like this Frederick. The next piece from C.S. is obviously the real mother of dragons, Kali of the Vast. The rolling dark cloud spreading before her to the sparks coming from behind her. This altar is truly intimidating. I love its attitude, if that makes sense. Powerful and confident in that power. You know, it's hard to explain, but when I look at this, it seems like Kali is truly the most powerful commander out there. I'd expect something like this on a planeswalker. Just an epic, epic altar. I'd love to have this. Our last two pieces of the day come to us courtesy of Ben Blank Alters. We'll start off with this extended Hercules recall. I don't know about you, but this looks 3D to me. Honestly, I have no idea how he did it, but he made it look 3D. Just look at how it's so obvious the energy leaving those artifacts is separate from the rest of the card. It's fantastic. I haven't even mentioned how the rest of the card looks. I like that he avoided anything towards the bottom. It forces the viewer's attention right where it should be. Beyond that, everything has done superbly well here. An attractive altar for sure. Ben's second piece is an extended snow-covered mountain from Cold Snap. I'm just a sucker for good landscape extensions, and I haven't seen many snow-covered altars. He matched the blues perfectly, which helped make the cards stick out to me. When it comes to basic lands, this is the kind of altar I enjoy. A simple, elegant extension that helps to show off the original work. Simple, but awesome. What did you all think about today's altars? Any you liked in particular? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to check the description of this video for all of today's artist information. If you want to throw money or love at their faces, which I suggest you do, you can find their links down there. Also, just like the Facebook group. I'm getting sick of telling you, so just, okay. Anyways, subscribe below for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manasaurus. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.